Good morning everyone. Welcome to Rhythm English. I'm Suruchi Das and you're watching News Flash. Polling was held in Jharkhand for the first phase of elections across 43 seats with 685 candidates on the fray. Voter turnout till 6 p.m. was 64.86% following a campaign that concluded on Monday. Donald Trump appointed former Democrat Tosi Gabbard as his U.S. intelligence chief. Gabbard, a former congresswoman, switched sides from the Democrats to back Trump's re-election. Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy will lead the Department of Government Efficiency. The Supreme Court mandated a 15-day notice before demolitions of unauthorized structures linked to criminal cases, stressing accountability for district magistrates and requiring all demolitions to be videographed. With India refusing to play in Pakistan for Champions Trophy, Pakistan threatens withdrawal if a neutral venue is chosen. However, the move could lead to financial repercussions for Pakistan Cricket Board, including stripping of its hosting fees. West Bengal Governor C.V. Anand Bose requested a report from Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee after the suspect in the Kolkata case claimed he was framed by ex-police commissioner Vineet Goyal. By-elections were held across 10 states, including Kerala's Wayanad, where Priyanka Gandhi is contesting. Vote counting is set for November 23rd, seen as crucial for Congress and the India bloc. Ministry of Home Affairs approved an all-women battalion for the CISF comprising 1,025 officers led by a senior commanded marking progress for women in national security roles. President Anura Kumara Desanayake dissolved parliament, prompting a snap election on Thursday, aiming to secure a mandate for economic reforms. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will visit Brazil for the G20 summit, followed by his visit to Nigeria and Guyana to strengthen bilateral ties, marking historic visits to these nations. Hindu organizations in Canada allege police demanded funds for protection amid six separatist pressures, accusing Prime Minister Trudeau's government of bias and civil rights violations. Due to overwhelming demand, Coldplay added a fourth concert in Ahmedabad on January 25, 2025, expected to host 100,000 fans in large stadium show of their career. A 30-year-old woman was found charged to death in Jiribam before being assaulted by intruders in Manipur violence on Wednesday. The autopsy result mentioned third-degree torture on the victim. The UK pledged to cut greenhouse emissions by 81% by 2035, announced by PM Keir Starmer in COP29, making it the first G7 nation to update its NDCs aligned with 2015 at zero goal. A 25-year-old man attacked an oncologist in Chennai, accusing him of incorrect treatment for his mother. The doctor, injured in multiple areas, is now stable in the ICU. Karnataka Chief Minister Siddharamaiah clarified there's no proposal for Muslim reservations in government tenders, countering media reports and BJP's accusations of appeasement politics. So that's all for the headlines of the day. For more updates, download the app and keep watching with them.